What's up team, I'm back from Berlin, just got back home 45 minutes ago. I'm a little bit tired but I wanted to make this video because with the last video where I explained how I started crushing, a lot of questions came up. A lot of people wanted to know how I started studying and what tools did I use, so I want to address this today. And let's hop right into it. Like the first tool I can recommend you guys is the PokerStrategy.com Equilab. It's also for free, so it's quite good. Um, what you can like basically do is like you can compare certain hands. For example, what we do here is like we compare the equity, compare the equity of aces versus the king queen. It's German, okay, but I think you get it in English as well. Boom, you see, oh man, king queen is actually fucked harder than I thought. I thought it had like 70% instead of 13. And then you can add with flop, turn, rivers, and so on. Basically, it helps you like calculate your spot when you say, oh man, this spot you only is queen check and stuff like that. And then you can calculate your equity and if you should call, given the products you're getting. So it's a great tool to use. Um, also, you have to run some calculations, not that you just jump into it and you have like it done instantly. No, it takes a little bit of work, but I think it will help you improve your game a lot. I'm not affiliated with any of these besides Upstream Poker, which I will get into later. Um, just for your information, guys, but I'm not biased here. I try to be honest about everything. So yeah, that's the Poker Strategy Equilab that I use. Second of all, oops, let's close this one. We have my HUD, the Holder Manager 2. Um, I don't know, there's Poker Tracker out there. They're pretty much the same. Um, I, I got used to Holder Manager, so I recommend you guys that one. Um, never had any problems with it. I think both are pretty good software to use. And you know, what I really like about, about the Holder Manager is not that you only like see HUD sets on your opponents which makes you know if they are tied, aggressive, and so on. But it also gives you the chance to save hands during the play, and you can analyze them um, later, which I use like daily. I mean, you know, I have hands saved from all these different um, sites, and then I go over it with my coach. Or, for example, I put them into ICMizer, which is the next tool I'm going to get into. So let's just see, and I don't know, we will just copy this spot, and we'll calculate together on ICMizer, because that's the next tool I'm going to present you guys. If you have it, ICMizer 2 Pro. I paid like 100 bucks for this to get this one year. And it basically helps you to make push fold decisions as well as ICM. For example, when I made that 890 call a week ago, I put it into ICMizer, put in the payouts and all that stuff, and you can really analyze the spots and see if you made a right call, right push, and so on. For example, here we can see here the ICMizer gives them a 38% jamming range for five, five and a half big blinds here in the cutoff. And I mean, I'm pretty sure that will be quite wider. I mean, he has five bigs. There's just no way he is folding something like that. I mean, I will analyze this like fairly quickly here. Um, it's just because I don't need to do it exactly here. And boom, suddenly we see 7 5 suit is the march of the call. So usually yeah, I want to have like a call where I win a lot of chips and not like a march of the plus TV spot like this one. So I should fold here in this certain spot and would call something like 7 6 suited instead. Obviously, we have to adjust the ranges like entirely correctly, which is not a thing I want to do right now. But that's a great tool I can recommend you guys. Like, as an MTT player, not a cash player, obviously, you really need ICMI to handle these push forward spots. I mean, there's a software like Jennifer out there, which shows like push forward, but it's really old and it doesn't have like the serial connectors in there and it's like not exact on the spots, so it doesn't have three bad chance and all that stuff. So, definitely the tool you should get into is ICMI. Besides that, there's like a lot of pages to study. I watch like training videos and I mean it's kind of tough to explain what the best is. Like every side has its upsides and downsides. Um, I'm sponsored by Upstream Poker work together and I think they have a good pretty good side. But what I really wanna say is that like Upstream Poker is like great if you want to get into the game and start crushing. But if you're already a winning player, I mean it will still help you, but it will just not help you as much as if you are like more new to the game. Because if you look at it, I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to show this, but I will just do it. Um there's just a lot of stuff that will put you in everything, you know, like tournaments, ICM, all the questions are answered. And what I really like is just, you know, everything is covered. You know, usually on a training site, there's always like these different figures, things that you have to figure out for yourself. But I think on Upswing Poker, there's actually everything covered that is important. For example, you know, now we have to away from the table, bank for management, all that stuff. And if you just take the course, mental game, mental game is so fucking insane. That course happened a lot, actually. And if you just go through it and, you know, watch the videos, you will just get, like, a good idea about all of the things. And if you look at the videos here, um, you may be wondering yourself why 
The audio is good, there's a cam, it's entertaining, so it's just not as boring as the usual training videos. So I really like Upswing Poker for that, and I think it's a good site. What I can also recommend to you guys is run it once. Um, you get like a membership for like 10 bucks, and it's pretty damn good because there's a lot of good players, and you can just watch hand history reviews and get an idea on what to do and what not to do. So that is also pretty good. Then we have Sharkscope over here, where, where I usually like look like search for guys and see if they're good players or not. For example, I looked for this Bolero guy and he seems, he seems like an absolute crush. I mean, he's pretty new to the game and like up 12k here. I mean, that's a solid craft, like must be an awesome guy, sexy dude. Where's he from? Is, is it anywhere? Oh, I feel like he's German, man, like sexy beast. Um, so yeah, that's what I usually use, the shark scope. And, you know, just look up people and find out how they are doing. And the last tool I use is pretty obvious, it's Skype. I talk with Spring Poker and my coach uh, Nikolai, like hands on on a weekly basis, we meet each other like uh, every now and then and just talk about hands, talk about spots, discuss them, and that's what really really helps my game. So if you have any buddies out there that are on the same level that you can share your problems with, your struggles, but also your good times and get each other hyped to crush, then obviously do that, guys. Get out there, like write in the forum, talk with people. And just interact because that's really what gets you going, what keeps you motivated when you see, oh man, my buddy crushes, I'm on a crush too, let's do it. And yeah, just like the general thing of like talking hands will help you the most and that's what I recommend at the end. So thank you guys for hanging out, I hope you enjoyed the video and I, hope, so I really hope it improved your game a little bit and you can take some tips out of it. Let me know in the comments guys, I'm happily answering any questions. So see you on the felt guys and good luck.